Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In my previous lecture, I explained you how to calculate one sample signed test using IBM SPSS and interpret the results. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one sample Wilcoxon signed rank test. So this Wilcoxon signed rank test is desired along with one sample uh, signed test results and which is a more powerful than a one sample signed test. The assumptions that we make in Wilcoxon signed rank test are the same as with the one sample sign test. In this lecture, I show you uh, how to calculate Wilcoxon sign rank test with two examples from real life scenarios. The one sample Wilcoxon sign rank test have the same assumptions like a one sample sign test. So here we look at the assumptions what we discussed in a previous lecture. So the one sample sign test, it identifies the trends and uh, it tests general hypothesis of equal distribution. It is measured on ordinal interval or ratio scales and it checks uh, the null hypothesis median is equals to observed values or it also finds out the difference. But uh, one thing that the one sample scientist will not tell you is the degree of a difference that is the magnitude of a difference. So to know the magnitude of a difference, we need to use Wilcoxon sign test. So for that purpose, uh, here we have a a Wilcoxon sign test. Now Wilcoxon uh, rank test is often decided along with the one sample sign test results and the Wilcoxon sign rank test is more powerful than one sample sign test. The size of difference between the median score and observed score is considered not just the direction. So here we look at the size or a magnitude of the direction is uh, or the difference is measured. Now Wilcoxon test requires the distribution to be somewhat symmetrical. Now here we have a one a question. So an investment uh, advisory firm asks its customers uh, this question, like how likely is that you would recommend a firm name that is a particular, I excluded this one, to family member, friend or a colleague. So this the intention of this uh, investment uh, advisor firm is that if customers are satisfied or the clients are satisfied with their services, there is every possibility that they will refer it to the family members, friends and colleagues. So this is measured on uh, a scale, ordinal scale, 10 is extremely likely and uh, 0 is not at all likely. So your question is measured on an ordinal scale and I will show you the data. So here is the data. Now the data has been collected from 25 clients as the size is uh, less than 30. We go for a norm parametric test that is one and second is as this variable is measured on an ordinal scale again we have no option than going for a non-parametric statistical test. So here we uh, verify this with uh, Wilcoxon sign test. To perform Wilcoxon rank sign test you need to click on analyze and here non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, then two related uh, samples. So here now first select the median value, then uh, click into the variable 1, then select the uh, recommended investment advisory company, take this to a variable 2. Here uh, test type Wilcoxon is already checked, so we continue with the same and click exact, then uh, select exact, then click continue and here in uh, options then prefer descriptive statistics as well as a quartiles click continue then click ok so here are the test statistics now recommended investment advisor the median score is uh, 4 which is less than uh, 5 that means the clients are not interested to recommend a particular investment advisor company to their friends family or others but we cannot jump into the conclusion here we need to look at this uh, with the help of uh, uh, statistical significance. So for that we check the statistical significance here. So here negative ranks are 16, positive ranks are 7, ties are 2. So we exclude the ties and consider only these two positive negatives and the mean scores are here, sum of the ranks. Then here the G score minus 1.712 and uh, uh, total significance value is 0 0.08. At 5% level of a significance we fail to reject the null hypothesis. If uh, we set a uh, significance level at 10%, then we reject the null hypothesis and says that the clients are not interested uh, to recommend this uh, firm 
to their friends and family similarly here uh, one tail test also it is a 0.04 so a one tail test is a, it clearly shows the direction which says that uh, it is which is a significance value is less than 0.05 which clearly indicates the rejection of a null hypothesis as your recommended median score is less than a median score so this clearly indicates that uh, there is uh, likely that is a chance of recommending this particular investment advisor to the friend, family and friends is statistically not possible in the sense that they are not going to recommend this one this is uh, one uh, example we look at a second example here here you have a regional sales manager of an automobile components manufacturer who deserves to know whether daily sales revenue generated by different branches in a particular city is similar to national average so national average is 125000 here instead of a median value we are considering the mean value so as uh, uh, assumptions or the requirements of uh, one sign sample test as well as wilcoxon is that preferably it is a median if median is not available then you can go for a mean you know, or mode or even any other arbitrary value so here uh, we are going in national average 125000 and the data is sourced from uh, 18 randomly chosen branches uh, now question is that is the daily revenue of all branches is similar or is there any difference now here we have a uh, data now you may be wondering that uh, when sales revenue is measured on a continuous scale and even the, you have a mean value why don't we go for a parametric test here are two things one is that your sample size is less than 30 that is a small sample so when you have a small sample we prefer non parametric test that is a one and second is there is extreme values in the data set if you observe here you have a one value of 11307 on one side and 298000 on the other side so these two are extreme values or in statistics we call this as outliers so when you have a extreme values or outliers in your data set then it is preferred to go for a non parametric statistical test rather than for a parametric statistical test so we run a wilcoxon test for that click on analyze then uh, non parametric uh, tests legacy dialogs so two related samples now here already you, you calculated a previous one click on a reset now choose the mean value bring it to variable 1 then you have a branch sales then uh, bring this to variable 2 uh, wilcoxon is already selected click on exact so we want the exact here click a continue then you have an options descriptive and the quartiles click a continue and click okay so here is the result now you can see that the mean uh, uh, is 125000 and the branch sales is 150000 slight variation is here and the negative ranks that is uh, average sales less than 125000 is in the seven branches and positive signs are in 11 uh, branches so here the sum of ranks we have then uh, your statistical uh, test results here test statistics so exact significance value of a two tailed is 0.265 which is greater than 0.05 or even if you consider it a 10% also it is a greater than that that mean we fail to reject the null hypothesis in the sense there is a no difference in the daily sales revenue generated by different branches uh, of a sample study even in a uh, exact uh, one tail test also it is uh, greater than 0.05 we, with this also we can conclude that we fail to or reject the null hypothesis in the sense there is a no difference in daily average revenue generated by different branches in a particular city with the national uh, average so this is uh, how uh, you need to calculate the wilcoxon signed rank test to check the equality of a differences either from a mean value or a median value thank you thank you for listening to the lecture